looking to stimulate your bored brain, I have one word for you, cheerleaders. Take a look at Bangalore, India. First we outsourced our jobs to them, now we've handed over our pom-poms. This is Bangalore, India, the epicenter of outsourcing and the poster child for the new India. With its unique mixture of traditional living, colonial past, and cosmopolitan sophistication. And these are the Washington Redskins cheerleaders. I anticipated doing new things. This was just really beyond any expectations, though. They are here in India at the behest of the owner of the Bangalore Royal Challengers cricket team to not only help sex up the newer, faster version of the game, but also to train aspiring native Bangaloreans in the ways of the pom-pom and the kick line. Leaders, they are kind of uh, cricket entertainment, entertainment brought into cricket. So it does uh, help uh, the crowd, uh, the players, everybody. The Redskins cheerleaders are but the latest example of a preeminent American export industry, American culture. Publicity has been plentiful, along with a bit of controversy. According to Indian culture, that's not the way of those messes up. Which, in true American fashion, breeds more publicity. The match is more important than the cheerleaders, so it really does not matter where they're coming from and what they're doing out there. So why are we giving them so much of importance? And finally, the most important question to those behind the fledgling league. Have the cheerleaders made the game more popular? Brings in more viewers into the stadium. No, 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 I don't think so. I mean, uh, people, the spectators come to watch cricket and not the cheerleaders. Cheerleaders are just a, uh, a cream on the cake. 